Welcome back to our Roblox Studio tutorial and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a dropper uh, which you will be use using with a button so you will press on something like on the side here and then there will be something dropping from here um, unfortunately this is the best way to do it but I'm just going to show you one way that I've learned how to do it so yeah let's get started so first of all I made this you don't have to worry about this just make something real quick um, something like this or whatever make it better even uh, but you're also gonna need to make this so spawn in a part then you scale it like it doesn't really matter how you scale it but I'm gonna make it look good so let's scale it like that yeah something like that change transparency I'm gonna change my transparency uh, so something like that anchor and can collide off that's really important I don't think the can collide is supported but I'm gonna do it anyways and um, so now when I have that done you can name this part over here spawner now we have that now we're gonna make a button so I'm gonna make mine maybe I don't know maybe one point one point one like that scale it down make this one green so it's just like a button it can be any color you want the color doesn't matter I'm gonna name this one button and then always anchored should have, everything should be anchored can collide can be on for this one and the second thing you're gonna do is make a part that you're gonna drop like maybe something like this or yeah it, shape doesn't matter you can do it like this and then you name this block something like that you know it doesn't matter what you name it as long as you have the same name in the script so we can have block 2 for example block 2 so I can show you t that you can make different uh, uh, shapes too so that's why I'm making block 2 you don't have to do this I'm just gonna show you so it works so now I'm gonna recolor these one can be blue one can be green Okay, now we're gonna put both of these in replicated storage. Bam. It's just so we have stored somewhere. Now it's not in the game, it's in replicated storage. Okay, well now, anyways, back to the button. So you go in here, press on script, now we have a script. Before we work on the script, you have to go press on the plus again and press on click detector. Now we have a click detector and a script. This is very important. You don't have to drag the click, de click detector anywhere, it's just like that. Uh, anyways, we're gonna start with the variables. So first we're gonna va uh, make a variable for the click detector. So we're gonna do local click, de click detector equals script dot parent dot click detector. That's so we can uh, find, uh, so it knows what the click detector is so we can work on the script with that. Then we're gonna do local block and then we should do equals we should, we, you don't have to do capital um, can I find equals there equals game dot replicated storage dot block now we have uh, defined the block now we can copy this we can change these two to two if you have another block that is but we're not wait and actually no don't do that now that we've done that it can find that and uh, yeah so we're gonna do this. Uh, click detector dot mouse click e uh, colon connect function make this delete that. Uh, I don't think we might have to change that. Okay, then we do um, game dot replicated storage dot block uh, colon clone dot parent dot equals game dot workspace dot spawner now that should be it okay so there was no uh, wrong nothing wrong with the script I just forgot that we have to put the block uh, over here like right beneath this you know if you do you can do this by using a vector 3 and there you go I had to change something because it wasn't working and uh, that good uh, I'm gonna check out what it was 
So what it was was that I had uh, you have to do this change from click detector dot mask click then you're gonna have to add script dot parent dot click detector with capital C and D and then also you might I don't know if I showed that but uh, you might have to add the game now workspace dot spawner I don't th I think I already showed that so the final the final um, script was local click detector. We're just defining everything here. So then we come to the script, script of parent, the click detector, the mouse click. So we will detect if the click detector was clicked. It will connect to a function. And the function is game though, uh, replicated storage dot block. So we'll find the block in replicated storage and it will clone it, put it in workspace by the spawner. So that's how you make this. And next video is how to make a conveyor belt. So yeah, stay tuned. Bye bye.